How's it going everyone? Welcome back. Back with another video today. We're out in the garage right now and I'm starting to go through some of my ice fishing equipment. Uh, checking it out for you guys. Um, checking tip-ups, making sure the line's alright, the batteries are good and all the lights. And uh, seeing if i got to replace anything. I'm going to start up the P1 Rocket Auger here in a minute. And that'll be the first time it's been started since about this time last year. I didn't use it for ice fishing one time last year. All I did was start it up in a video just like this for you guys and uh, see how hard it started or anything like that. So stay tuned, we'll show you guys this. Okay, so I figured we'd start with starting the rocket on the first. Like I said, it's been a year since this thing has been started. It's a little dusty from sitting out in the garage. Um, cold, it's cold outside right now. It's actually snowing outside right now. I just did a video on that for you guys, first snowstorm of the year. So uh, to start this thing, if you guys aren't familiar with a propane auger, especially Eskimo, and you turn this valve on, give it a second for the, the fuel to hit the motor, and you pull the rope. Well, this is definitely the hardest this thing's ever started. bad considering it's been sitting a year. Um, this still starts easier than most of my uh, gas augers would have uh, having set a year and like I said it's basically been setting two years. I started that long time last year so uh, it's still a brand new auger. Um, I've used it minimal since I bought it like three years ago now. Um, I use it the first how long have I owned this thing now? Maybe I've used it two years. I used it a lot the Two years and then nothing at all last year since I bought the, the pistol pick. So start it up again. Pretty good. Um, it it changed my mind that that's not the best power auger on the market. But as you guys know, they're, they're better out there now. Uh, I was a big fan of that when that came out. It's the latest uh, propane auger on the market. It's a 40cc, same engine that comes on the HC40, but a different transmission spins 40% faster. That thing is lightning fast. Um, if you could find a power auger, you know, that isn't homemade, that could beat that thing in a race too. Let me know, I'd love to see it. And that's a 10 inch bit, I've actually raced um, different guys with 8 inch bits too and uh, beat them. Uh, you guys seen the video against the HC40 with the 8 inch bit and he was pressing really hard and it was like a tie. Same motor. But just for funsies we'll show you guys the pistol bit here. Starts up right away. About, that thing probably, this probably doesn't weigh a third of what that thing weighs. That's why I use this thing all, all year long last year. You can't beat a pistol bit and a, a drill. You can use a lot of different drills, but that is the DeWalt hammer drill. And I love it. That thing's worked great so far. I got a five amp hour battery on it. I got an extra one for backup and it works excellent. Okay, so now we're gonna go through these tip ups here. I have this final box. If you guys haven't checked this out yet, I got a video on the best tip up box. I believe this is the best tip-up box. It's actually a toolbox that I use for tip-ups. So we're just going to grab a random box today and go through a couple. Um, I'm not going to bore you guys with going through all of them because as you guys know I have a ton of tip-ups that I use set up for all different species. So I'm not sure what I had these ones set up for last time. I don't remember. 
I'm guessing pipe. I have to check the leader here. So we'll check uh, the blue tips right away. Make sure the battery's still working. Which I don't know if you guys can see that light good there that far away, but that seems to be working good. The Frable light seems to be working good. Nice and bright still. This is a Beaver Dam Jolly Roger tip up. These are new to me last year. I bought these new before last ice season. The lighthouse, I don't know if you guys can see that one good or not, but that seems to be working good too. So that's a good, uh, pleasant surprise. Usually these things uh, are dead this time of year. They get knocked around in the box and get turned on and sit on all summer long. Yeah, this litter, leader seems to be a pipe leader. This is 20 pound Ber Berkeley Vanish that I have on here. I can tell just by the feel of it that it's my pipe leader. My walleye leaders, I was running 10 pound last year. So that's a big difference. So, supposed to be a little bit tangled up. I hate that. The, one of the reasons why I do this is uh, tangles. I can't stand having to do maintenance like this, uh, fixing tangles when I go out fishing. Standing out in the cold, uh, untangling something is not a good time to me. It's not bad though. This one wouldn't have made me cuss too much out of the lake. Um, this main line was brand new last year, so I'm not even going to check the main line. I know a lot of guys go out and uh, buy new main line every year. I don't. I, I let mine run four or five years before I replace main line. I've never had a failure on main line ever. Um, these leaders, on the other hand, I always check these. Almost every time before I go, every time I get done fishing, I do this with my equipment. I, you know, when it's cold out, I get lazy and I just wrap stuff up real quick and I throw it in the box and I go home. And if I don't do that, the next time I go out fishing, I'll have a tangled mess or something. And it just, the stuff needs to be gone through. But one thing I do every time or just about every time before I go out fishing is I check my leaders. These, cause I make all my own leaders. This is all Frable or uh, Berkeley Vanish Leader material. Like I said, this is 20 pound material here. The hook seems good yet. No nicks or abrasions in the, the leader. So this one's good to go. Just wrap it back up, set it aside, grab the next one, do the same thing. One thing that I don't enjoy about these, um, Beaver Dam tip-ups compared to the Frables is they don't have a handle here on the spool. That's the one reason why I've always used Frable until now is the handles. Especially when you're out on the lake and you got gloves on or your hands are freezing. Those handles come in very handy. No pun intended. So that one's done. We'll grab a Frable this time and check these out. So as you can expect, those are brand new tip-ups, so I got older equipment on these, I got older lighthouse, I got older frables. That one's still pretty good. It's not quite as bright as the, the Beaver Dam frable on there, but that'll still work just fine. I do have batteries to replace all this stuff. I have to dig out yet. So we won't replace batteries today, but I will assess the situation. Uh, find which ones need batteries, and I'll replace those as I need to. The lighthouse is still great on this one. I didn't do. I haven't done a lot of uh, night fishing the last two years, probably. So all these lights should be good yet. So we'll check the leader material on here quick. This one I can feel too is also a twenty-pound leader. sinker a little. There's a little bit of an abrasion on this one. Not too bad though. I think it'll be just fine. 
for now. Another trip or two out and I'll replace this one. I actually have a bunch of these pre-made leaders um, ready to tie on at all times. So that one looks decent. It really depends on how many people I go with too. You know, the early season, uh, the first few times at least, I always go for pike just because that's about all of the spots that I can get to for early season. So I just go for pike, so I'll most likely just uh, pick my best three tip-ups or probably just these beaver dams and use those for the first couple weeks probably and then when I can start venturing out further uh, to get out to some walleye spots or something like that then I will uh, probably go through all of these and um, at least make sure that everything's done then. I think, I don't know, I rotate, depends on if I fish with other people and they need to use tip-ups too. I got like 21 tip-ups, something like that, that I uh, rotate through. So yeah, that's what we're doing here today, guys. Uh, checking lights, checking hooks, checking sinkers, checking swivels and leader material and everything that seems to look good on the first two. Uh, we'll go through the rest of these anyways off camera. So uh, this is an uh, hour long video anyways for you guys. Um, I still got some stuff that I got to dig out. I got to dig out my charger and stuff for my Vexlar and get that thing on a charge. And um, yeah, knock the dust off a lot of stuff. This stuff's been sitting around all year. So uh, it needs a little TLC right now. So if you're new here, leave me a thumbs up. Uh, it's much appreciated. It helps the channel out a lot. Uh, it helps recommend the channel to a wider audience. Uh, comment down below if you guys have gotten your stuff out yet. And if you're itching to get out on the ice, it's probably two to three weeks away. I mean, well, probably three weeks away at least until, um, you know, the times we've been out the last couple of years. Uh, it's been around November 10th, 12th, the last couple of years. So uh, it, it's coming faster than you think. And subscribe. We're coming out with new videos here every two days. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.